Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you the uh, digital numbering system. In this digital numbering system, uh, there are four basic parts which are binary. Uh, a simple example is the representation of the data, seems like for this one, and there is an octal uh, which are base 8 decimal and hexadecimal. Uh, for uh, the basic concept of binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal, uh, let's see in together. The binary, uh, which has only two symbols, uh, these two symbols are zeros and ones, or every information uh, represent with a collection of bits. This bit is uh, have only two symbols, which are uh, 0 and 1. Hence, uh, its base is 2. Uh, binary means 2, unary is 1, and trinary is 3. So, as the name indicates, binary means it only two digits. So, or uh, every information uh, represent with a collection of zeros and ones and every uh, number with base 2 we call it a binary uh, the maximum value of a single digit is 1 uh, 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 keep in mind uh, the single digit uh, its maximum value is 1 1 less than the value of the base because of base is 2 and the maximum value is 1 so uh, we can say uh, the maximum value is less than uh, 1 from its base each position of the digit represents the specific power of uh, base 2 or every number that uh, represent or the collection of these pieces with base 2. This numbering system used in computer because the computer understands the machine language. The machine language in a sense, the source code or uh, high level language must be converted into uh, the low level language which are the machine language. This machine language understand the binary or the collection of bits, which are zeros and ones. So this binary numbering system from uh, the digital numbering system, which are octal, hexadecimal, uh, and decimal, uh, this is most of the time applicable in the computer and uh, we call it uh, the computer numbering system. That's why this numbering system used in the computer. So, uh, for instance, this is uh, the binary uh, uh, number, which this is the binary number, uh, so which are base 2 in order to convert this binary number into uh, the decimal, uh, the representation is seems like for this one. For instance, there is a zero on here. There is a one, two, three, and four. So this is considered as the most significant digit or bit. This is the least significant digit. And in order to convert this most significant digit, this is considered as the most significant digit, and this is considered as the least significant digit. This collection of bits with base two in order to convert the decimal, for instance, this one is to the power of zero because zero, one, two, three, and four, then to the power of zero times one is on here. This one is the power of 4, then 1 times to the power of 4, 1 times to the power of 4 is 1 seconds, then 1 seconds times by 1 equals to 1 seconds plus to the power of 3 is 8. Every number multiplied by 0, the result is 0, there is a 0 on here. Two the power of 2 is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, and to the power of 1 is 2, 2 times 0, 0 is on here, and uh, to the power of 0, every number with power 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So when we add this number, 1 six plus 4 plus 1 equal to 
twenty one with base ten. These are the decimal representation of this binary representation. Uh, the second part is octal or the second digital numbering system is octal. Octal is uh, it is characteristic or it is basic feature for octal uh, digital numbering system has total eight symbol, right? It has total eight symbols, the binary, only two symbols, which are zeros and ones. But when you uh, come to here in octal, it have total eight symbols or digits which are zero, one, two, three, two, eight. So when we count this number, it have eight symbols or eight digits. Since it is base ten because it's uh, octal, and a simple example, this one, uh, two thousand fifty-seven with base eight. This base eight represents this numbering system is octal. Then in order to get uh, 2057 for the decimal this one is zero this one is one two and three in order to know this value two times eight the power of three plus zero times zero times this one eight the power of two and five times eight the power of one plus 7 times 8 the power of 0 because on here or 7 is power 0 1 2 3 so uh, finally when we multiply this one uh, 8 times 8 uh, 64 64 times uh, 8 uh, 500 uh, 1 2 then multiplied by 2 it gives this value and this number is multiplied 8 times 8, 64, 64 times uh, 0, the result is 0, then this one is 40, and this one, 8, the power of 0 is 1, 1 times 7, there is a 7, there is a 40 on here, and there is uh, 1024 on here. When we add this number in together, the result is this one. These are the decimal representation of this octal numbering system. The third part of digital numbering system is decimal. This is most of applicable for uh, we human beings. The characteristics of uh, this decimal number system has 10 symbols or digits. Uh, for instance, the binary only two symbols, which are zeros and one. Uh, octal, there are zero up to seven. Total, when we count this uh, number, digits is seven. When you go to in decimal, there are uh, ten digits or ten symbols in order to uh, represent this decimal numbering system. Hence, its base is ten. But octal base is 8 and uh, binary base is 2. The maximum value of a single digit in decimal is 9. 1 less than the value of the base because the base is 10. So the maximum value for a single digit, for only a single digit, the maximum value is 9 because the total symbol is 0 up to 9. Each position of the digit represents the specific power with base 10 in decimal numbering system. We use this numbering system in our day-to-day -day, uh, life or this decimal uh, numbering system uh, is more familiar with human beings. Uh, a simple example for the uh, decimal numbering system, for instance, uh, if you have uh, 2000, 586 with base 10 uh, we can calculate seems like for this one there is a 0 on here there is a 1 2 and 3 as I try to mention this is the most significant digit this is the most significant digit and uh, this one is the least significant uh, digit uh, not this one this one uh, then uh, two times uh, ten the power of uh, three because its base is uh, uh, ten uh, in decimal then uh, five times ten the power of two this one eight times um, eight the power of one times uh, 
8 times 10 and uh, 6 to the power of 0 times 10. Finally, when we add this number, uh, we have got this one and this one gives us uh, this value which are 2586. These are the decimal representation or the decimal numbering system. Uh, the last part is hexadecimal. Hexa means 6 plus 10. There is hexa and decimal uh, two words in together which are decimal plus hexa. We call it hexadecimal which are totally one six digits are there in hexadecimal. Each position of the digit represents a specific power with base one six for example there is one a f and one six in hexadecimal numbering system the representation or one six digit zero is correspond with zero one correspond with one uh, till it continues and uh, nine correspond with uh, nine but ten correspond with or the number 10 represented by the symbol with the character A, 11 represented by the character B, and it will live represented by the character C, and 1, 5 represented by the character F. Only 1, 3 represented by the character D and 1, 4 represented by the character E. These are the hexadecimal numbering system. 0 correspond with 0, 1 correspond with 1, 3 correspond with 3, 4 correspond with 4, till uh, 9 correspond with 9. But if there is a number 10, it must be represented with the character A. So the total symbol is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the hexadecimal numbering system or the total uh, symbols which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the total symbols that we have used in hexadecimal. A represent with 10, B represent with 11, C represent with 12, D represent with uh, 1, 3, E represent with 1, 4, and F represent with 1, 5, or 1, 5 correspond with F, 4 correspond with E, 1, 4 correspond with E, 1, 3 correspond D, and A correspond with 10. These are the hexadecimal numbering system. In order to convert this numbering system to the decimal, if there is uh, this uh, number, as uh, we have seen all here, it is based is one sequence, indicates this representation is hexadecimal. This is not i rather than 1, 1 a f. So in order to convert this numbering system into the decimal, there is a 0 on here, there is a 1 on here, and there is a 2 on here. So in order to convert this numbering system, 1 times 1 seeks the power of this one is 2, 2 plus a times a times a times 1 seeks the power of 1 plus f times 1 seeks the power of 0, 0, 1, 2, so 0 on here. Then uh, 1 times 1 seeks the power of 2, we have got uh, 1 seeks times 1 seeks, 256 to uh, 156 plus uh, a represents is 10 then 1 6 the power of 1 is 1 6 1 6 times 10 there is 1 6 0 
Helas, if represent is one five, then one five times one six is the power of zero, or every number with power zero is one, then one. Finally, two hundred fifty six plus. Uh, 160 plus uh, 15 five times is one five is one five then one five we have got this number when we add this one 431 with base 10 these are uh, the transformation or the conversion of hexadecimal into uh, decimal uh, the binary signal and the quantity uh, the binary signal in a sense signal or the transformation of uh, the signal it may be analog or uh, digital the binary indicates it's uh, a digital for instance uh, if there is uh, transformation information seems like for uh, this one this is a continuous so we uh, call it it's analog analog or the signal is analog but the representation of this one is uh, seems like for uh, this one these are the binary for instance this one is one this one is zero this one is one this one is uh, uh, zero so every information with the binary signal and its quantity or the representation in number uh, seems like for uh, this one, but this one is an analog. The binary signal has only two possible value, either uh, one or zero. Make it simple, the signal, any kind that may be used to carry the message or the message is converted into the binary or a digital form. The binary number or bits one and zero used to represent this value. For instance, zeros and ones or the transformation of information or uh, the signal represented in the uh, binary value is seems like for this one. Uh, this is a uh, today's class. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment my YouTube channel. Have a nice time. Bye. Love you guys.